Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie Vio, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So in my last few tutorials, I have been focusing on how to sell on Etsy, how to set up your own Etsy shop and sell digital downloads or printables online in your own Etsy shop. So make sure to check out my other tutorials on how to get started on Etsy by clicking on the description below and I will link you to all my videos there in order. But in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create your own beautiful product listing photos. So when a customer goes on Etsy, they're going to see, you know, hundreds of different products that they're going to scroll through. So it's super important for you to have a beautiful product listing photo so that they are enticed and want to buy your product. So when you go to add a listing on Etsy, something like this will pop up and you can use up to 10 photos to show your item's most important qualities. So if you were selling a handmade item, you could just take photos of that item and submit them here. However, when you are selling a digital download, you don't want to just upload the file, first of all, because you want to protect the file and you don't want someone just to be able to save it and you know not purchase it from you. And second of all, if, for example, you're selling wall art or a card or an invitation, you want to use a photo that's showing what it would look like on a wall or in the office or wherever it's meant to be used. So for example, you can see all of these different photos, they're showing what this artwork would look like on a wall. Now, it's a lot of work to have to print off the digital download that you made, frame it, put it on a wall and take pictures. So I would reckon that 90% of these people are not doing that. They are creating mockups using design tools and saving themselves ink and time and a lot of energy by using the same mockups over and over again for all their different items. So that way you can list more items and save yourself a lot of time and money. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create mockups like this. This is one I did using the method that we're going to use today. And I'm going to show you how to do it completely for free using photographs that are royalty free that are found online and also using Canva, which you can use the free version as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to pixabay.com and this is a website where you can get free images, royalty free images that you can use in your product listings. What we're going to do is type in picture frame mockup. You could also type in photo frame mockup, poster mockup. Under here you can see we have 118 free images of picture frame mockup and all of these are different ones that you can use and insert your own images on top to use these as mockups for your own listings on Etsy. And that way you don't need to go and print off your digital download and take a picture of it in a nice frame on a wall, which could take you, you know, a couple hours to do. You can do this in 10 minutes or less. You can scroll through here and see all of the different options you have available. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And you can see we have the Pixabay license. It's free for commercial use and there's no attribution required. So we are free to use this image in our Etsy listings. So then click free download. Now I recommend downloading it as the highest quality size possible. You will need to get a Pixabay free account for this. Um, it's really simple. You just log in and you have your free account. You don't have to put in any sensitive information or any payment information and then click download. Now the reason I prefer the highest quality size is because if we go over here to the requirements and best practices for images in your Etsy shop, you can see here that the recommended size for listing images is 2000 pixels for the shortest side of the image. Okay. So now we're going to go to canva.com and if you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up using my referral link in the description below. And we're going to click create a design and we're going to choose edit photo. And now we're going to select the photo we just downloaded. Then click edit photo again. And so what we're going to do is go over to uploads and we're going to choose upload media, then click device and upload the digital download that you want to display in this poster here. So imagine this is a poster here that I've created. This is the digital download I'm going to sell in my Etsy shop. To add that to the image, just click and drag. Now make sure not to release when it looks like this because that will make it the background. Just click it to the side like this over and make sure your mouse is in the middle and when you can see the entire image, then release it. And that will now download it as an element that we can 
play around with. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit. And now what we can do is drag on these corner handles here and fit it in our poster just like that. And you can see that just like that we've created a beautiful listing photo that we can use in Etsy and it makes it look like this is actually, you know, something we went ahead and printed off. So this is just one example. I'm going to show you a little bit more complicated um, example next. But to download this, click download and then save it as a PNG file and click download. And then you can go ahead and upload this as one of your product listing photos and it looks super professional. So now I'm going to do a slightly more complicated product listing photo to show you that you can really customize these to your liking. So let's say we go back to Pixabay and you just type in wall under photos and you can look and find any sort of wall that you want. Let's say you can't find a mock-up image you know, in a bedroom or in an office or dorm room. You can go ahead and find a picture and we're going to add our own frame and picture to that wall. So for example, I'm going to type in nursery and let's say I want to use this picture here and add in my own frame. I'm going to click free download again, download the largest file size, click download. And now what I'm going to do is go back to Canva and this time create a design and I'm going to choose custom size. So remember, the shortest side has to at least be 2000 pixels. So I'm going to just do 2000 by 2000. We're going to make a square and then click create new design. So the first thing we want to do is add the image we just downloaded from Pixabay of the nursery as the background image. We'll go to uploads, click upload media and locate the image. I've already downloaded it here. We don't want to fill the image like that. We want to make it a separate element. So just once you see the full picture, just release your mouse. And from here, we're going to click and drag it until it fills the screen how we like it. I want it to be something like that. So when you release it, if you want to make any more edits to the background, just double click on the photo and then you can readjust it to, you know, whatever position you want. I just want to leave it just like that. Okay, so now what we want to do is add a frame. So we're going to go back to Pixabay. We're going to type in frame. And you can see all these different vector frames here. And a lot of them come in packs of three, but we can crop it out and choose whatever frame we like the most. So I'm going to type in wood frames under illustrations and I like these ones right here. I only want to use one of them, but that's okay. I'll show you how we can crop out and just use one. We're going to click free download. You don't have to download it as the largest file size and then click download. Now we'll go back to Canva again under uploads, click upload media and upload the frames. I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead Again, we don't want it to fill the whole screen, so we're just going to click and release it so it's just like this. Now, we're going to resize it by clicking and dragging, and we want to crop it so we're, we can only use one of these frames. We don't want to use all of them. So click on the element, then click crop, and then just drag until we remove two of the frames, and then click done. So now we've cropped the frame. So we can go ahead and resize it to however we like it in the image. That looks good to me. And now what we want to do is add a background, a white background of this frame. So we're going to go to elements, click on shapes, and then just find um, a square. And we're going to change the square color by clicking on the color icon to whatever color you want. I want it just to be white. And then we need to make it so it goes behind the frame. So we're going to right click, send to back. And then from here, you can just adjust the size of the frame so it's behind completely uh, the frame, okay? And now we're ready to add in our printable. So let's say I'm selling a nursery printable wall art, a custom one. And this is the one here that I'm going to sell. You're going to click. Again, just drop the image and then we're going to resize it. We're just going to fill it like this 
And you can see just like that, we've created our own custom image with our own custom frame and adding our printable. You could even make edits to the background image if you want to change the color by clicking on the image and adding a filter or going to adjust and making it you know, brighter the image or changing the contrast level a little bit. Or you could even make adjustments to the frame as well by clicking on filter and adding you know, one of these to make the frame a little bit different as well. Or by clicking effects even and you know, making a green frame or a purple frame or whatever you want. And then when you're ready to download the image, again go download. Just download it as a high quality PNG, click download. And then when we're adding a new listing, we can go ahead and add these photos and they look super professional. So we can click adjust thumbnail. Just adjust this a little bit as you like it. And you can, you know, you could make it like this. You could make it like this, however you want. So these are just a few different ideas of listing photos that you can create for free using royalty free images from Pixabay, using their vector frames and adding in your own printables. And that way it looks much more professional than if you were to just upload a JPEG of the printable itself. It's actually showing the customers what the file will look like, what the printable will look like on their wall or in a notebook, depending on the type of printable that it is. At the top here, you can just make your design. So I could put nursery mock-up Etsy. And then it will be saved later on when I go back to home on Canva it will be saved under my designs. And I can just go ahead and click on it. And then I could, you know, change this photo and add any other photo I want. Let's say I'm creating several different printables for a nursery and I can go ahead and replace this and add a different image uh, each time and just use this same mock-up for all my images. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please click like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more different videos just like this one and leave any comments in the comment section below if you have any other questions or any other requests for different types of Etsy tutorials. Thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.